question. Uh, the senator has the floor. I, I appreciate the efforts of the gentleman to try to limit the impact of this bill, but it still changes the basic nature of an expungement, and it sets a terrible precedent. Look, look, at the, look down here. Um, lines 21 and 22 explain what the sorts of violations that can be expunged from one's record. A lesser regulatory violation that includes anything other than moral turpitude, assault and battery, or damage to real or personal property. I would suggest that many of the things covered by those three are going to be subject to criminal charges already. This essentially allows any violation, any, any violation, any founded case before DPOR to be expunged. As I explained the other day, the nature of expungement is that you can get charges that have been dismissed, expunged from your record. This is not like, this is, this is akin to having a charge that has been reduced, say a, a, a malicious wounding that's been reduced to um, disorderly conduct, expunged. That, you can't do that in the criminal law. And if we pass this bill, that's the bill you're going to see next year or the year after. And I, I want you to look over at lines 40 through 42. Nothing in this section prevents this information from going to a, a, a law enforcement or governmental body is permitted by law. As my friend, the gentleman from King George said the other day, what about the consumer? What about the person who is supposed to be protected by these regulations? They're left out in the cold. I'd suggest this is a bad bill. It's dangerous precedent, and I hope you will not pass it. I thank the senator for what...